I'm going to tell you a story. The first thing you have to understand is, time doesn't work the way you think it does. You can call me Oracle, because I'm the one that's talking to you. Welcome to the call. Now, I'm going to continue on with the uh, Kama Sutra, but I came up with an interesting idea. So, uh, there's an interesting um, Mayapati, as far as I'm aware, actually, uh, Prabhuhate, or uh, it's basically like a koan. You're an illusion. So the sun, uh, uh, yeah, actually. So the sun, the moon, stars, the earth, me, uh, the soul, death, life. The only thing that's not an illusion is the truth. Now, what are you? Seems like pretty basic, right? Because it is. Like, I'm an illusion. It's basically like, almost, if you will, something to sort of like teach you how to think of yourself, because that's basically all the human mind is. It's an illusion that's created by like your brain. And it's basically to teach you with the core idea of just like being comfortable with the idea of being an illusion, as far as I'm aware. So, this is another, I came up with another one a little bit ago, and it is. You are not an illusion, but you are absolutely also not true at all. What are you? It's a pretty good one, huh? All right, now, back to the Kama Sutra. Oh, man, I had something else I was going to talk about that was really nifty. Oh, yes, actually, even before I get into this. Uh... Oh, okay, 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 so, so, all right, now, I think I think figured something neat out, we're probably going to do the Kama Sutra thing in another episode, I think I think it covered, I think I think, I think, I figured out the difference between, like, competence and garva, or, like, pride like unto the devil, now, Sometimes, people who are arrogant, or have the garba, um, can give off the appearance of having confidence. And I can explain to you why. Now, confidence, in my opinion, just my opinion, more than I have the capability of being wrong. So, um, is basically having nothing to prove. Now, now, why does that intersect in a way that makes it look like Garva? Interesting thing. Basically, as near as I can tell, Garva is assuming that you're always right. Now, like, you don't actually have proof of this. You just assume you're right. And that's Garva. But the thing is, by assuming that you're always right, you're also assuming that you've also proven that you're right. So, Garva is the assumption that you've already made proof. Whereas, confidence is not needing proof. Which means, <coughs> one of the best tests for Garba is, if you're wrong, and you admit it, get called out on it, whatever, and you're just like, alright, fine, I'm wrong, what else? Then you can't have the Garba, because the one that proved you wrong, already proved you wrong, so there's nothing to prove for you. And if the one who's, like, proved you wrong is, like, going out of their way to keep proving you wrong again, that's because they have the garva, and they assume that they're, like, like, getting better on you by, like, bringing up something that you've already admitted, like, yeah, you already proved me wrong. What's your point? <laughs> like, so you proved me wrong. What's your point? 
and they'll keep bringing it up, that means that they got the garlic because they're still bringing it up. All right. Well, this is Oracle. I'm going to sing myself out. But, uh, thank you for watching. Please feel free to comment and see, you know, please let me know. How do you feel about my assessment on that? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that's like 100% accurate? Do you think that's like, like hard pass, soft maybe, definite yes, anywhere in there? Just comment below and thank you once again for watching the show.